right, now, depending on uh, what you guys have done here, you may have this, I know this is up here at the top, um, there's an issue with the hours, and I'll figure that out later. Um, but uh, what I want to show you now is uh, some debugging here. I know, I know something's going to happen. Um, we need some cases in here, not cases, uh, some conditions in here to make sure that this works from the get-go. Um, so what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to clear out all of our data. And save that. Come back to the page and refresh and I guarantee you we're going to have some errors. All right. So there's a bunch of errors because we don't have any array. There's no array to sort and no array to do the for each on. So let's do some, um, some things to combat that so that, you know, you can install this out of the box and, uh, and it's going to work without these errors popping up. So let's hop over to log. The first place where we're getting our error is our sorting here. So let's do an if. The if that we're going to do is underscore array. And put in data. And that's pretty much it. We just need to drag this in there. So this won't run if this is not an array uh, data. And we got to do the same thing down here where there's a for each. So enter if is array data. And delete that first or that second curly bracket and come down here and put it here with the uh, rest of them. And we can probably tab this out. Save that, and we got one other place. Our our tally is doing the same thing. So, if and you pretty much, I mean, you can copy this if you wanted to. Array data that closing curly, and put it after the for each. Save. Now let's take a look at our file, our uh, project, refresh. There you go. So that cleared those errors out. Um, and, you know, you, you might have been afraid to delete your data because that held the whole structure of the file. But what's nice is we already have that being built here. So the moment we add a new task, we've got our data built again. There you go. And there, I think I figured out why we're getting an, an issue there. Uh, yes. Okay, so we need to make sure that there is actually an end date. Um, we did this down here, uh, but we need to do this in the tally also. Otherwise, it's counting this as a zero or empty. Um, so let's do if task date end is equal to an empty string, then we'll go ahead and assign it the current timestamp. Now this isn't going to save. We're not running the save function down here when this is over. So we don't have to worry about that. It's just temporary to get the most recent uh, timestamp to see where we're at at the moment. So task date end equals time. All right, so that should give us no more. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that fixed our hours problem. However, I know we're going to have another issue. Um, and that is, let's add another task. And let that set for a second. I'm going to pause the video to get some time in here. Okay, so I let some time elapse. Um, so we've got a total of four minutes. 
uh, as in our time here. And if I go ahead and stop both of these, okay, I have four minutes. But if I go ahead and remove this from our active tasks, we still have four minutes. And that's something we need to address here really quick. So in the log here, we need another condition um, similar to down here with the status. We need to make sure that the status is uh, set to active or one before we run this. So is equal to one. I can take that out and put it down here. So. works. Um, so we have the for each. We want the for each to run, but we want to not add to the count if the status is not equal to one. So save that. Refresh. And hopefully this goes down to one minute instead. Yep, one minute. 